God bless you too. I just want to thank everybody who's been like, commenting, and subscribing to me. Uh, it definitely means a lot from the bottom of my heart. Spread the love of Christ. Let's give praise to God in this hour. God bless. Hey, God bless you too. How's everybody doing this Sunday morning? Um, I was just sitting here just laying down this morning and uh, and I was just like, Lord, I want to give a word, you know, to, you know what to speak, you know. I ain't have nothing ready or no scriptures ready. And uh, God was speaking to my mind. You, I can I can hear him in the, in the spirit and he was speaking. He said the tears are collected. So anybody that's been going through a season where it, it's just been nothing but tears flowing, whether it's because of this ain't working out or this door is not coming, it just whatever is making the tears flow out, uh, God has a word for you real quick. So if y'all just follow me, we're going to go ahead and get into the uh, the book of Psalms. And it's uh, Psalms 56 and verse 8. And it read, that tell us my wonders. Put, uh, tell us my wonders. Thou my tears into thy bottle. Are they not in thy book? When I cry unto thee, then shall my enemies turn back. This is, this I know, for God is for me. So what that scripture is basically saying is, I'm going to go ahead and read it in this translation. Uh, and it's in the message translation, so you can get a clear understanding. Uh, and it says, you've kept track of my, of my every toss and turn. Everything that I've been going through, you've been keeping track of it. Through the sleepless nights, each tear enter, entered in your uh, leg, ledger, ledger, I guess that's what they're saying. Each ache written in your book of life, the book of life. So basically what it's basically saying, what God is basically speaking in, in today, that uh, you may be going through it, uh, like I said, going through a season where there's a, just a bunch of tears that's just flowing out. Uh, God said, just let it go. Let 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 the tears run out, because no matter what, how many tears we shed in the natural, God in the spiritual, He's He's actually collecting our tears. Do y'all know God loves y'all that much that He collects our tears? Our tears is what matters to Him. And when I think about that, I'm just like, Lord, that is so powerful. You love us that much that you come to collect our tears. So many nights that when you've been crying, when you don't understand why people are turning backs up on you, why this, why that, God was in the midst of collecting your tears. I mean, you 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 constantly in a financial struggle. You start crying in tears. God came and collected. When people turned their back upon you and you was crying in tears, God was collecting. See, that's that's one thing people would never understand. Man, I'm telling you, God, God, he's just a loving God. He's just a very strong, loving God for, for him to come and to collect our tears that we mean that we're just that precious to him. I mean, really think about it. We're just really that precious to him. Not, not one tear in the spirit falls down. He comes down and he collects them. That's what I really love about this scripture. That no matter what we go through, God is always there to collect. So, in a natural, it may look like it's falling to the floor or wherever you're crying at, falling fall on your bed or your pillow, whatever like that. But you, you just got to know in the spirit, God is collecting your tears. And God is saying, it's okay. It's okay to cry. God will turn your cry into joy. It says it in his word. So God is, is very loving. I really hope, I'm, I'm really hoping people really take this, this little quick word in. Take this little message in. That God is collecting every tears. Let them flow. Let them flow so he can collect. Let him flow. Just let him flow. I know I've caught myself a few times crying uh, this week. 
Yeah, I've cried. See, a lot of people ain't not. A lot of people is going to keep pride and act like that they don't cry. We all cry. God knows that we all go through certain things that's going to bring tears. God understands that. Je Jesus cried out to his father on the cross, like, Father, why have thou forsaken me? So Jesus understands. He knows. He knows there's going to be times when we're going to be weak and we're going to, we're just going to be, we're going to be mourning. We're going to be crying. He knows. He knows the tears we shed at night. What people don't see, the tears that people don't see, God understands that. And he loves us that much that he's willing to come down from heaven with his bottle to collect our tears. What amazing God. Who do, who do not want to serve a God like that? I really want people to really take this word in. And look back all the times that you sat up and cried that God was in the midst of collecting. My God. He was in the midst of collecting. He said, I'm not letting not one tear. I'm not letting it drop on me. God said, I'm coming to collect them. So this is a season where, you know, that 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 we, we're just going through a time. Like even when I said my last message, we're just going through a really dry time. But the blessings is going to come. It's got to come. The promises got to be fulfilled. God's the son of man that shall not lie. Neither the son of man to even repent. If he said he's going to do something in your life, he's going to do it. But don't let it get to you. But at the same time, it's okay to have tears. It's okay to cry. I've cried all the time. Late nights, middle of days, you name it. <laughs> I cry a lot. And I'm not ashamed to, to share that. I know some people will be ashamed to share it because they want to look strong and be strong. Go ahead. But I'm just telling you from what I know and what I go through. God saying it's okay to cry. God said you have to cry. He said let it, let it come out. That's what God is looking for. Because God knows that at some point down the road we get tired. We get, we get, we get frustrated. We, we get to a point where we feel like we're nothing. The devil them, them beat our heads up so much to make us feel like that God is not even speaking to us anymore. See, this is how the enemy works. He, he plays by coming to the mind and telling you what you're not. But you need to start letting the enemy know you got to give him the word of God back. That's how uh, Jesus, when he was tempted by, uh, by the devil, he said, for it's already written. You got to tell the devil, it's already written. I'm the head and not the tail. I don't know who I'm talking to. But God said, God said, you are the head and not the tail. Greater is he that is in you than he that is also in the world. Do you really believe that? That you are the head and not the tail. You got to believe that within your heart. It comes to, to really what it comes to, who reports you're going to believe. You're going to believe the devil's report or you're going to believe God's report. And everything God speaks, it trumps everything what the, what the devil talks about. So I want people to really have faith. Really, really, really have faith and know that anytime you're in tears and crying about certain things, it's okay. It's okay. God's patting you around the back while he's collecting the tears at the same time. See, the natural look like the tears are falling down, but in the spirit, God got your tears. So it's just, it's just man, this is, a really, this is a very beautiful word. I just thank God for this word for this morning. But that's what he was speaking to my spirit. He was definitely uh, speaking and letting me know, you know, give a word about me collecting the tears. And I said, Lord, that's powerful. So I hope this word definitely blessed somebody. Um, uh, to, just to remind y'all, um, my album will be coming out tomorrow. <laughs> Thank God. My album's finally coming out tomorrow. I was going to see one thing. One of my last songs I did was called Light in the Dark. Uh, if y'all hear just a little pop all up in the mix or whatever like that, it's because of my, uh, my laptop. I have to give me a laptop real soon. Because, I mean, this 
when it comes to making music, this thing gets it's been giving me problems. I've had it for two years, but I, I just cut my my uh, my album short. I may make a uh, extended album of my ashes and put all the access extra songs that I may put up on it. But it probably it's probably gonna be somewhere down a month down the road sometimes. But uh, but y'all gonna definitely love this album. I'm talking about y'all gonna love it. I mean, as I put it right up here. Y'all gonna really, y'all gonna really love this album. I mean, I hope y'all don't be disappointed. Y'all are definitely are gonna love this album. Uh, I know uh, Ashes is definitely one of my top. Like Ashes, it just got a different vibe when you first listen to it. It just, it's beautiful. Y'all just got to definitely check it out. But Ashes, uh, it's pretty good. Light in the Dark, that's the last song I did. That's really good. Um, what's the other song? Uh, don't give up. Ooh, don't give up. So I was singing that yesterday. To uh, I had it playing on my soundbar, and I felt the presence of God. Even when it got towards the end, where I started singing a lot louder. You know how, like, in the end of the songs, you get the, the chorus keep going and stuff. Yeah, just around that area of the song, man, I just felt the presence of God. Like, don't give up. I mean, it was just all about don't giving up. Just don't give up in this season. Whatever everybody's going through, don't give up in this season. And I had two, I had three other songs, and it's on my Tyrese Brown's Life. This is my channel, Tyrese Brown's Life. I got it all scheduled. If you go to my community, I got three of the songs uh, listed. So when, and it's on the same day, and it's on my playlist. So you just go to Ashes Play, you just go to Tyrese Brown, or if you type me in, or whatever like that. But if you type me in, type my name in, Tyrese Brown TV, just go to playlist and you're going to see all the songs. I put them all together. I took it from the channel and put it all together. So I really hope everybody was blessed by this message. I'm just still so, I'm so excited for today. I'm just so excited for what God is about to do in people's lives. I believe God's about to really open up some great doors. But this is just a time where, you know, we're going to have to meditate on the word of God, get closer to him. And, and really be cut out all distraction i mean this this is a time where we have to cut out every single distraction i mean the enemy the moment you try to to, to put your focus in god the, the the devil he he'll just he'll just take your whole mind away and and it, it gets to a point it gets frustrating i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell y'all the truth it gets frustrating i mean it really gets really frustrating so i know i'm not the only one but uh, I really want everybody to take that word in. I'm going to put that scripture down in, uh, yeah, I'm going to put that scripture down in my description so y'all can meditate on that word or whatever like that. But it's a, it's a really beautiful scripture. And I never knew nothing about this because I think my uncle, he's a pastor. And, um, I think he wound up told us that. I think one time when he came over, he told us about that scripture because I think we was talking about crying and tears, whatever we was all talking about, me and my mom and my uncle. And that's what he said. There was a scripture on there. I said, what? I had to go look up that scripture. This was about two months ago. And I'm like, wow, I never knew there was a scripture about God collecting tears. But when I when I read it for myself, I'm like, wow, that's beautiful. We are that precious. He loves us that much that he comes and collect our tears. Man, sometimes you cry in front of people, some folks, they'll cut your head off. Oh, dude, stop all that crying, all, all this other stuff. Man, you don't know what I go through. You don't know. You don't know what I have to suffer day after day. Man, I'm fighting to live a righteous life. That's a that's a lyric from my song. <laughs> fighting to live a righteous life. If y'all hear that song, pain, I'm telling you, that song is gonna put y'all in tears. I guarantee you, pain is gonna put y'all in tears. If it don't put y'all in tears, then I I don't know what else will. But I'm just letting you know. But it's okay. It's okay. Let the song put you in tears so God can come and collect them. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, God is God is doing some great things. He's uh Your tears is not in vain. He God God God's, God is coming in to uh to collect them. But yeah, check out that definitely check out that song on my album Pain. I mean, I literally was talking about the accident I was in and stuff. You you just got to hear it. it, it it's a beautiful song. Very quiet, beautiful song. But uh, like I said, no, y'all please take this word in. Let this let this encourage you. Let this word really encourage you. And God is speaking right now. He's saying, 
I'm collecting your tears. God is not God is not letting your tears just go to waste. It may look like it like that in the natural, but God in the spiritual, He's collecting your tears. And know that every time that you cry, even look back at the times that you cried about certain things where people could never understand you. People will always try to keep coming against you. And it just seemed like nothing was never changing. And you would just sit up in that room. You would get up on your knees like, Lord, I don't know what is going on. You just like, Lord, I can't keep fighting this on my own. Lord, I need your strength. I need your anointing. I, I need, I just need power in this hour. And the moment you just keep crying, the more you just can't, you get to a point to where you can't almost cry no more. That's because God done collected your tears. Uh, Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Jesus, that you that that you love me that much that you collected my tears. I don't know who this is for. I feel this strongly. Somebody's been crying. Somebody's been in tears lately. And God said, I'm collecting your tears. I'm not letting it go to waste. My God. Man, I hope everybody really take this word in. This is a really beautiful word. God said, I'm collecting your tears. They're not going to waste. And so in that words, I thank everybody for watching this video. I hope everybody be blessed on this Sunday morning. And uh, continue to uh, grow in God. Be who God called you to be in this hour. Continue to, uh, to follow after him and, and abide in him. Especially in this hour, while the enemy's out doing whatever he's doing, but God is doing some great things in this hour. So we just got to believe God for the for for the great things that are going to come, and this and this going to come, but it's going to take some faith. But I'm telling you what, every every prophecy, every dream, every vision, it's going to come to pass in the name of Jesus, and I speak that boldly over everybody's life that watches that come across this video. So God bless everybody and love you. Until next time, be blessed.